GarageBand iOS has a heap of great presets for recording your vocals and your guitars and your other instruments, but what if you just want a clean audio recording? Well, that's what we're gonna show you in this video. Let's go. Welcome back to episode 50 of my GarageBand 5-Minute Tip Series. Yes, if you'd like to learn 49 other cool things about GarageBand on your iPhone or iPad, check out the other videos in the description. To add a new audio track here in GarageBand iOS, you want to tap on the big plus button in the bottom left and then scroll across to the microphone icon, which is your audio recorder. If we just tap right here in the middle, it's going to give us the default lead vocals audio recorder preset, which has some things like compressor and vocal hall and tone adjustments, but what if we want that to be clean audio? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. The first way is when you add your new track here, tap in the bottom right under more sounds and weirdly, you're going to look under fun and then clean. This is gonna open up a completely clean vocal track. And if we go here into our plugins and EQ up in the top left and tap again in plugins and EQ, you can see here, nothing has been enabled except this effect EQ. And you can even turn that one off off if you don't want to use it or completely remove it. That's just this tone knob over here. So I tend to just get rid of all of that. This squeeze is just your compressor. So that's not actually doing anything. As you can see, it's all the way down. So if you want to start with completely clean audio, that's the way to do it. What if you already have a track with audio and you want to change that to clean? Well, the way to do that is to go up to the top to the microphone icon and here where it's got lead vocal, radio ready, whatever you've got, you can tap on that one and then once again, go down to fun and go to clean. This is going to remove all of those different settings. And now you can come in here and dial in whatever settings you want. This is really handy if you don't want those particular plugins, you want to pick and choose your own plugins like distortion or chorus or overdrive, or you want to use external plugins like your audio unit V3 plugins right here in GarageBand. With our clean audio track set up, let's do a quick test recording to make sure it's working. Recording clean is really Rad, don't forget to hit like or you'll feel bad. And there it is, our nice clean waveform. Let's give it a play. Recording clean is really rad. And now that we have our clean recording, we can change it in any way we like. We can go back to the microphone icon here, tap again and change this back to a vocal preset like this. Recording clean is really rad. And we can add our own effects by tapping on the plugins and EQ, coming into our plugins, hitting edit and adding a brand new effect. Recording clean is really rad. Don't forget to hit like or you'll feel bad. There you have it. If you've ever wanted to record clean here in GarageBand, remember it's good, clean, fun. And I'll see you on the next one.